without further ado, let's uh, let's have a look at this uh, alleged uh, unidentified flying object and see what we can make of it. Dude, this is on, bro. There's a whole fleet of them. Look on the ASA. My gosh. They're all going against the wind. The wind's 120 knots to the west. Look at that thing, dude. Let me know if you want me to pause anywhere so we can look at different things or. We've just paused there a second. Is it? <clears throat> right. If basically what this what is using is what you called um, uh, a flirt, which is front looking infrared. That's what that's all it stands for. Can you uh, can you can you see that's good enough to? Can you tell us anything about yeah. these? Uh, what, what all we're seeing yes. on the screen here with the... Yes, I can, yeah. Okay. Right. Um, if you look at the, t the top in the center, it says IR, so that's in infrared. It's, uh, it's eight degrees to the left, so the camera is looking eight degrees to the left. Um, if you look at the number two to the um, nine o'clock position, mm -hmm. it's looking two degrees down. At the bottom, where it says BLK, that is black, so that's in black hot mode. They can go into black hot mode or white hot mode. That's in black hot mode. Um, over to the right, where it says um, 25, <clears throat> just over 25,000. Mm -hmm. That's its altitude, is at 25,000 feet. Okay. Um, where you see the cross in the middle, that's basically the aircraft. <clears throat> and that line is the horizon. So yeah. it's basically it's in a left hand bank. Yeah. If that makes sense. A sure. lot of people think that the wings should go left, but that's not the wings, that's actually the horizon. So he's actually doing a left hand bank. Now, whatever he's looking at um, is definitely kicking out heat um, because he's in black hot mo mode and it is showing up black. Okay. The, the white hairs around the, um, the black object, that is um, basically it's to enhance the image. Um, that's all that is. It's not like heat coming off it, it's just that the, the um, equipment is trying to get um, clear lines, so it okay. puts like a white haze um, at the back of it. That's all, that's all that is. So it's the contrast, the level of heat. Yes, that... it's basically to give you a better view, yeah. Okay. Uh, and remember that this is infrared. This is not a camera, uh, like a normal standard camera. It's infrared, so all it's picking up is heat. So all you're doing is contracting heat. Uh, as you see, the clouds are, um, are cooler. Obviously, that the, that black object is uh, really black, so that's where the the heat's coming from. Okay, but let me just normally have a distance thing, but there isn't a distance thing come up. That's normally to the right. Oh, and at the top left, when it says N A R, that's narrow view. So you can have a wide a wide angle view or a narrow view. That's in a narrow view. Okay. Let me see here. All right. It's the head is there on us, dude. Well, if there's like another thing, it's rotated. Can you hear it? Yeah, just. Okay. Oh. Is it that small thing flying there that we're supposed to be looking at? Yes, it is, yeah. Oh, got it! Right, if you up there. It looks awful small because I'm, I'm. This looks like the ocean. So, yes, it is. Yeah, um, that's the ocean. Uh, that's what he's looking at, and he's in black hot mode. So whatever that is, that's cold. Because he's in, he's in, he's in black mode, black, black heat. Does it not black look like a bird mode. to you? I, I, I don't know. I, I thought it looked kind of like a bird dive in here. Mm, yeah. Right there, where, where there's a little bit of flutter. <laughs> if it was a bird, it would, it should. No, I suppose feathers could insulate it. See. Right if it's like an Arctic bird, yeah, it's going to have... Yeah. See how it seems like it's flapping right there? I don't know, maybe that's just me. Yeah. What well, I think that is... Oh, stop, 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 stop. Right. It's, he's, he's locked onto it. Where it says 4.3 RNG, that's 4.3 miles. See, see on the right-hand side where it says 4.3 RNG? Yeah. Yeah, that's 4.3 miles. He's at 25,000 feet. I have to do some maths here. Um, 25,000 feet will be 
just short of five miles. So his altitude is just 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 short of five miles. So he's five miles up. The ocean it's looks five miles up. Yeah, yeah. Twenty five thousand feet. Is it? Uh, um, without doing the calculations, I couldn't tell you exactly, but he's about yeah. five miles yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah. Um, just short of five miles. The range to that target is 4.3 miles so that's actually very close to the surface of the sea that's not very high up uh it's gaining on him at 210 that 210 that i believe is um how fast it's gaining on him yeah let's uh, uh... little dot at the um thanks for coming old man dan yeah, the little dot at the 11 o'clock position, that right. is the position um, of the target in proportion to him. So it's off to the left. Ah, right, yeah. It's 45 degrees, the camera's looking 45 degrees left and 27 degrees down. So it's looking down, it's out in front of him to the, to the left and that's what that dot's showing. That's where the target is in relation to him, that little dot to the left. Yeah. You see the little dot to the left about um, 11 o'clock? Yeah, I see it. I, I see yeah, it on there. Yeah, that's what that is. Um, like I say, it's looking 20, 27 degrees um, down and is 45 degrees to the left, which corresponds to that to that little dot. Is in black heat, um, and whatever his target is, is white, so it's not producing any heat. I would say that that is a balloon. Yeah. That's what I'd say that is. I well, guess I'd say that is a balloon. Now... Because it's close to the surface, <clears throat> which I believe it is, because it's 4.3 miles away and he's only about five miles up. So that is quite close to the surface. Now, anything that is moving um, across a background that's close to it will appear to be really shifting. I mean, it is going to be shifting in, in, anywhere. Um, it depends on what the winds are, are like down there. Yeah. So it is going to be shifting, but it's going to look even faster due to the fact that it's close. It's like when you're in a car, when things come past you that are close, they seem to be going really, really fast. When they're right in the distance, they don't. But because he's got something there as a background, the sea, it will tend to make it look a lot faster than it actually uh, is probably going. Yeah, uh, I just want to address uh, Red Fang. Yeah, most birds don't fly this high. There are some birds, but none that would, would be flying like that. Uh, like, that looked kind of like, what I was thinking of was like a seabird uh, diving, but I was, uh, uh, Looking at this is much more closer to the uh, to the surface of the water than, than it, it is. It is. That's what I'm saying. It is close to the surface because it is five miles up. Oh, I bet. I bet that the the that he was closer to the surface that the pilot was oh, that took this. The pilot, no, yeah. the pilot's twenty five thousand feet up. Yeah. Which, as I say, is about is about five miles. I think there's more to this though. Uh, let's let's see if they get it. I think they get get us closer to it. Let's. <laughs> Well, there it turned. Uh, so, did he flip something on there? It turned black. Uh, right. Yes. If you look at the bottom, it's flipped from black heat to white heat. It's changed it to WHT. So he's now put it into white heat. And that's still Remember, cold. That's it's still cold, though. Heat. Yes, because it's gone black. Mm -hmm. If if it was a hot, if the um, whatever he was chasing uh, was producing any heat, it would now be showing up white because he's in white heat mode. Prior to that, it was in black heat mode. So it should show black when it's producing heat. It's yeah. not. It's showing it is in black mode now. Uh, sorry, it's in white mode now. It's showing up black. That's a cold object. That's why I'm suspecting it is something like a balloon. Yeah, and I'm, I'm re retracting anything I said about a bird. It's, it had, uh, just for that fleeting second where it looked like it was uh, there was some flapping, but it, it, since then it's it looked like a, it's just been a. Possible. With yeah. the um, the feathers, it could insulate it enough um, yeah. to not produce any heat. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, I took an auto train. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh, dude. Wow, look at that, man. Look at that. I mean, listen, listen to what he was saying, um, the way they're laughing. I don't think the pilots find it um, strange. I think they've spotted a weather, weather balloon um, and they thought, oh, we wonder if we can track it and they've been playing about and basically they've managed to track it and that's why they were, were, were jumping about and way we've got it and, and with all the excitement i don't think yeah. they find anything strange about it because they 
they found it and just thought, well, I wonder if we can manage to track this. And they managed to get on target and track it. Uh, yeah. And they'll be you know, themselves a pat on the back for doing it. That makes so sense I, to me, yeah. Uh, that one. All right, let's see. Right, first thing is is in white heat mode, so that is definitely um, producing heat, because it's in white heat mode. Uh, it went to TV there. Now we let's changed pause it to for black a second mode. here, and it's a little blurrier than it was. I guess that's not much different than what we were looking at before. Yeah, if you look at the top, it's changed it from uh, IR mode to TV mode. Yeah. So he's trying to focus in on it, he's trying to work out what it is. No, just pause it there. Right, he's managed to uh, to range find it, but no he hasn't. Yeah. Is that is that saying nine nine nine? Dot nine range. Yeah, that's what right here. Yeah, nine nine yeah, point nine, and then RNG. It might be rings. And yeah, then nine, yeah, nine, they, that, nine. yeah. The RNG's range, but it's it's nine 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 point nine. He hasn't got a lock on it. So it's just that, that it, it's blank. So we can't. He can't get. Okay. He, he can't get a lock on it. So basically, that's the default mode to say that he's not locked on it when it comes nine 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 ninety nine point nine. He's trying different things to try to get it to come into. Yeah. Which is problematic that he can't get it to come in, but I, I don't know what kind of distance we're looking at, but that just leaves it as an anomaly, though. I mean, at this point, you can't make any kind of assessment if he can't even lock in on it. Yeah, and he's, he's, he's almost go flying straight at it because he's only at 70 degrees, seven degrees to the left yeah and five degrees down so he's only just he's, he's basically flying straight towards it but with that one there i would Richard say Southern, happy friday oh, that is, that's a commercial aircraft yeah uh, and that far in front that he can identify what it is and sometimes when you're flying something that's a real really far away can um look closer because you can't focus in on what it is your brain will will make it as if it's closer but it's not it's further away and i think he's just misidentified um an aircraft that's far out to the front further than what he thinks it is yeah and too far so, out to get a read on it yeah yeah but so that's probably just a commercial aircraft because the thing with them is as well is when uh even radar if if that is all that i mean that could be 150 miles away but, um at that altitude it could be easy to be 150 miles away um and that's probably why he can't get a lock on it and he probably thinks it's less than that so if he thinks it's 40 50 60 miles in front of him if he gets in touch with um um radar that they'll ask him where they're wanting to look and if it's if he says within 60 miles or 50 miles to to mark to the front of me he will not be looking 150 miles so they, they won't pick up on radar either because they won't be looking in the right area 